Ahk Tag Yeon is a Korean rapper, singer, songwriter, actor, and entrepreneur. He's well known for being in the boy group 2PM. This year, he starred in arguably one of the biggest and funniest dramas, Vincenzo. He always gains the world's attention in every news story he is a part of. These are 10 things you might not know about Ahk Tag Yeon. He lived in the United States for seven years. Ahk Tag Yeon was born in Seoul, South Korea, but grew up in Busan. When he was 10 years old, he and his family migrated to the United States. He attended Bedford High School, where he's said to have been active in extracurricular activities as a member of a jazz band and a soccer team, among others. Because he lived in US for seven years, he has become fluent in English. He's also fluent in Japanese and, of course, Korean and even the Busan dialect. He had a part-time job when he was a trainee. During a special White Day Live broadcast he held through VLive, Tagyon read out a fan's comment about how there were no simultaneous English subtitles during the live broadcast and immediately expressed curiosity at how English subtitles worked with VLive. After learning that the translators were from Naver, Tagyon suddenly revealed, when I was a trainee under our company, I once worked part-time. He abruptly stopped his story to reassure the amusingly worried staff members who seemed to have accidentally heard something wrong. He explained that the part-time job is not a bad story, it wasn't a salary-less job, and he received all the money. He then continued, there was a senior in our company, Rain, when he was still with the company. When he held a fan meeting, I was in charge of writing the English subtitles that would show up on the LED screen behind him. Reminiscing about how difficult it was, he couldn't stop showering praise on the people who translated VLive videos, commenting about how fast they have to work and type. He said he is similar to his character at Vincenzo. Tagyon starred in TVN's Vincenzo as Jong Junu, a seemingly innocent rookie lawyer with a shocking secret. The multifaceted role, which is unlike anything the 2PM member has played before, has allowed him to showcase his impressive range as an actor. Describing the role as a new challenge for him, he revealed that he was initially drawn to the character of Jang Jun Wu because of how similar they were. In an interview with First Look magazine, he said, Jun Wu shares so many similarities with my real-life personality that when I first read the script, I thought to myself, I have to do this role. But as it turned out, Jang Jun Wu was a character with a wide variety of unexpected charms. He also stated that one of the joys of acting is that he gets to break stereotypes with his different characters. He is a funny man in real life. This 2PM member may have a steely gaze and intimidating persona when you first see him, but in reality, he is every bit the goofball. Since most of his acting roles have been tough and brooding characters, he couldn't miss out on the chance of playing the dorky Jong Junu on Vincenzo. The drama lead star Song Joongi even spoke about how funny Tag Yeon is on set during an interview with Netflix, among the three of us, I would say that Tag Yeon was definitely someone that made everybody laugh on set. I think he's actually trying to hold himself together because it's an interview currently, but when you really meet him on set, you will know just how fun and funny he is. I did a lot of scenes with John Yabin, and I didn't have as many scenes with Tag Yeon, but in those few scenes that I had with him, you will see later on in the show that I am laughing for real in those scenes. He was afraid of people with special effects makeup in Bring It On, Ghost. He starred in TVN's webtoon adaptation Bring It On, Ghost, which combines elements of horror, comedy, and romance. The story follows Tag Yeon's character, a boy who's able to see ghosts and he team up with a girl ghost to help ghosts get closure so they can pass on to the afterlife. During the press conference of the drama, he was asked if he gets scared easily. He says while laughing, I naturally have a lot of fear. There are a lot of people who appear in the drama with special effects makeup and I can't even look at their eyes. He's thought of making a Hollywood debut. Tag Yeon met actress Kim Yoon Jin while filming 2017 movie House of the Disappeared. In an interview with GQ magazine, he shared that he got some advice from the actress about making a Hollywood debut, she told me that I could do it and that I should give it a shot. It's not something I want to do immediately, but I think I'm always dreaming of that moment. Going somewhere new is a big step, but if I ever gain the courage, I think I may try it someday. He enlisted in the military in 2017. Tag Yeon has proven his loyalty to his country. Despite having the option to become a US citizen and having poor enough eyesight to disqualify himself from military service, he voluntarily gave up his United States green card and corrected his poor eyesight by receiving LASIK surgery to correct it up to military standards. 
He served his military service in 2017, completed his basic military training on the following year, and was placed as a military instruction assistant. During his military service, he participated in various 2018 Winter Olympics events and even awarded as model soldier by the Ministry of National Defense. After receiving the award, he stated, I am very honored and grateful to be receiving this award on behalf of the many people who serve in the Army. I have learned so much during my time here. He got discharged in May 2019, and he's the first 2 p.m. member to finish military service. He was dubbed Captain Korea. Because pictures of his new bulk physique circulated online while he was in the military, he was dubbed by netizens as Captain Korea. About the nickname, he said, I think I was bulked up because I had worked out a lot at the time. It's pressure, but it made me think that I should do a better job that would fit the name. But apart from his good looks, he really excelled while in the military. In fact, he was given an early promotion to sergeant, which is only given to the most outstanding soldiers. He was also promoted alongside his good friend and Dream High co-star Kim Soo Young. He launches his own Instagram after Stalker makes fake accounts. On July 9, 2019, he opened his Instagram named Tag Yon OK, which appears to be a play on his full name Og Tag Yon. He shared a photo of himself from a trip to the island of Udo with the caption, Welcome to my Instagram. He explained in his bio that after a stalker had repeatedly made accounts using his email address, he decided to make a real account for himself. He's in a relationship with a non-celebrity. Back in June 2020, Exports News reported that Tag Yon is currently in a relationship with a non-celebrity. The report claimed that they had recently been spotted enjoying a date together. His agency confirmed that the actor and singer was in a relationship with a non-celebrity. Tag Yon took to Instagram to share his thoughts about his recent dating news. I am very sorry to everyone who was surprised and disappointed by the sudden news. I thought a lot about how to talk about this, and I'm sorry that it has taken me so long to write. I know very well that many people are worried about me. That's why I want to say that I will continue to do my best as an actor and as a member of 2PM, just as I've done until now, so please keep watching over me. Thank you for cheering me on despite the fact that I am lacking in many ways. In an exclusive interview, Tag Yon's close friend said that his girlfriend is three years younger than him and that they've been dating since 2017.